if culture is to be any use whatsoever, it has to reflect the world that we actually are in, in all its complexity. Culture can bring folks in a room whose experiences may be very different and who may, as in this case, have been honestly historically separated for millennia and challenge that. That's what culture is for. King Arthur's Night is King Arthur's story through Niall McNeil's eyes and vision. Enough. Leave me. He's a professional actor and shows his whole life growing up. King Arthur's Night is about, about uh, the kingdom called Camelot. I read it with my co-writer, Marcus Patrick Yosef. This is the second show we've written together. And it's always a question, no matter who you're collaborating with, how are we gonna do this? How's this gonna work? Who's gonna write what? And so Niall and I just started hanging out. And what I did was I recorded absolutely everything. A couple of things came clear from that, that, that I could actually begin to work with the transcriptions of those recordings to shape a script. Another thing that came really clear was there would be times when Niall would just go, hang on, this is a song, and he would just speak a song. And a couple of times out of five, the lyric structure would be extraordinary. I'd show it to Veda and she'd go, I want to write music to this. In that process that we began to devise, which we were just making up, we discovered a few things. One, Niall and my pleasure in working and writing and jamming together. Two, Niall's gifts as a writer. No, to raise my son. And our ability to do that in relationship to each other in a way that seemed fairly productive. This particular show is real excited interest from a place called the Down Syndrome Research Foundation and Burning BBC. Our cast includes three additional actors who we've been working with for three years through the DSRF. Our Guinevere, our Magwitch, who's Mordred's assistant, and our big evil Saxon are all played by actors whose lives include Down Syndrome, as well as a cast of professionals. So when we started the classes at the Down Syndrome Research Foundation, our Guinevere, Tiffany, terrific actor, she and actually Niall were paired up. They were doing a Beauty and the Beast adaptation. I saw as they started, Niall just sort of clock Tiff and look at her. And I could see it, I could see it in his eyes going, oh my God, she's really, really good. Tiffany, every time we're on stage, she wants to be herself. It's the same thing with me. It's Tiffany, it's Tiffany in here, but Guinevere is in here. And she's really good. Huge one, and his horns. He's very huge. They were huge. They were kind of like funny. Uh, Tiff's mom, uh, Tony Ann, came up to me and she said, she said, you know, this is one of the only of these kind of classes that Tiff has ever wanted to do. And she said, thank God we found you. Because um, Tiff's been doing this alone in her room for 10 or 15 years. So she's trained herself. But one of the things that happens when we open up the access we take for granted is that folks who haven't had that access um, get the opportunity to participate and not just participate as an act of charity or favor, but to come fully present at what they're really good at and make the whole thing better. And that's the real thing about why it's important. It's because it makes our, all of our lives better. We're not doing anybody any favors. We like to do a really good show. It is going to be sold out. I'm not scared. We're ready, we're brave, we're tough, and we can do it. <laughs>